panda and polar bear. Pandas are from China and polar bears are from Antarctica and the North Pole. Let's go! Panda and Polar Bear by Matthew J. Beck In a place where spring met winter, there lived two kinds of bears. Where it's green and grassy live the panda bears. Where it is <laughs> white and wintry lived the polar bears. <laughs> yeah. But in between loomed a tall, steep, and slippery cliff. It was too tall for a panda bear to climb up and too tall for a polar bear to climb down. And so the two never met. Until one curious polar bear became too curious what was beyond his white wintry world. He walked closer to the edge of the cliff and closer and closer, perhaps a little too close. Luckily, the, the polar bear landed in a patch of soft, squeaky mud. It was so sticky and brown that, ah! Stop, stop, stop! Something was coming. The polar bear ran, but the cliff was too tall, too steep, and too slippery to climb up. Stop, stop, stop! The polar bear covered his eyes. He peeked behind his muddy paws. and saw a strange, splotchy bear staring at him. Are you new? asked the strange, splotchy bear. Do you want to play? Um, said the polar bear. The splotchy bear took that as a yes. In no time, they were climbing trees. Yahoo, this is fun. Ouch! Playing hide and seek. Found you! Oh, come on! Following and following the leader. Let's follow these cute looking ants. This all these awesome looking ants. Finally, they sat down for a snack. Yuck! Thought the polar bear. This bamboo is too hard. He had a better idea. Let's fish! He said to his new splotchy friend. The polar bear looked into the water bin and gasped. Could it be? He wasn't playing white anymore. He turned, he had turned into a splotchy bear. Splash! He swam out, snapped the fish, and proudly presented his catch. You're fading! The splotchy bear said. Where are your panda patches? Panda patches? The polar bear replied. Aren't you a panda bear? asked the splotchy bear. No, he said quietly. I'm a polar bear. I'm all white, just like snow. He sighed. What terrifically splotchy panda bear would want to be friends with a plain white polar bear? But the panda's face brightened. I've never seen snow, he said. What's it like? So the polar bear explained all about snow, but the more he talked, the more he remembered, and the more he remembered, the more he missed. Suddenly, the polar bear was homesick. I'll help you get home, said the panda bear. But Cliff, the polar bear replied. I'll think of something, said the panda bear. So he thought, and thought, and thought, until he couldn't think anymore! <laughs> Maybe we could use bamboo, suggested the polar bear. My mother told me never to play with food, but I think it's okay this time, said the panda bear. 
Together, they made a very long ladder. A very, very long ladder. When it was finished, the time had come for the polar bear to go. He looked at the panda bear. Would they still be friends after he left? The polar bear wanted to ask, but he wasn't sure how. Instead, he turned and slowly climbed the ladder and climbed and climbed and climbed. The higher he went, the harder the wind blew. The ladder began to shake. And then it was suddenly still. The polar bear looked down. There was the panda bear holding on to the ladder with all his might. Don't worry, the panda bear called. I got you. In fact, they had each other and a lot more to discover. Yahoo! This is so fun! Woohoo! See you at the bottom! Hey, don't fail! That was quite an adventure. The end. The panda and polar bear are looking at the stars together. They might have a sleepover. But I don't think the zookeepers will allow that.